All right, yesterday's video, it was a little hasty. First impressions unboxing, lostgolfballs.com. My order, I got some 2019 and 2021 Pro V1s, mint. That's the most expensive, best ones you can buy. And again, two dozen of each, cost me basically a hundred bucks, paid the tax, shipping was free, came in a couple of days, very happy with how fast the stuff got here. And we wanna talk about reviews. So when we look over here, all right, got a sleeve. This is a brand new puppy. That guy, yeah, brand new, all right. Now, I played golf yesterday. We've got the 12 in the bag there. Those are 2019s because of the little logo with the triangle pointy things on the side. And this bag are the 2021s, the new ones, because they got the different arrow instead of the triangle. So I learned that. Now, again, 12 in there, 24 in there. And then we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here. All right, so... I played golf yesterday, started with 12, <laughs> now I got nine. <laughs> so yeah, we lost, we lost three. And boy, am I glad we lost some of these instead of one of those. Golfing on a budget, not easy. So anyways, why do we have one, two, three, four, five on this side and one, two, three, four on that side? It's because my review of what mint means when I thought I was buying the mint. When I think of the word mint, I think, you know, mint. Obviously, it's not new. That's new. Used in mint condition. And let's see. Number 27, 1, 8, 2, 3. I would agree that those are definitely in used mint condition. Sorry for the golf cart. We're in Arizona Senior Center where everyone drives around in golf carts. But anyways, these guys, number four, number seven, uh, two, what's this guy? Aider? Aider from Decatur? Um, maybe I don't understand the grading scale, but I don't know. I think mint might be a stretch. First we have, uh, who is this gal? Where'd she go? Oh... Isabella Fernandez. I mean, you can see the scuffs. I don't know if that came from washing, but that's, nah, to me, that's not mint. This guy, same thing. Basically, if I can feel with my thumb or finger, if I can feel like a blemish or imperfection, I wouldn't go quite with mint. Uh, let's see, number eight. I don't know if you could pick it up on the camera here but this one's weird this one's got some like weird like pimples in the no not that guy this guy hey professional youtuber here you see those like craters or pimples or whatever inside the dimples like what's going on with that like eh, i wouldn't classify that as mint but maybe that's the way it came from the factory not lostgolfballs.com fault this thing same same thing we just got some blemishes eh. again i don't know maybe i just don't understand the meaning of the word mint but i am satisfied 100 percent satisfied no no bitching and moaning about the company lostgolfballs.com again i got and i couldn't even tell you what yesterday's the the lost balls no idea what those looked like before that was like uh I would consider mint and uh, sub mint. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll do this with the rest of the golf balls. Go through them all, see what we got. And again, so far, very satisfied. Again, for a hundred dollars for whatever, almost 50 golf balls, two bucks a ball. I would say very satisfied. All right, let's do the rest.